Hey YouTubers, it's Mark, and I'm True Seeker at the Mars Anomaly Research Channel, and uh, we're going to show you something in Sol 981. It's going to be quick. I mean, there's uh, a bunch of anomalies in this picture, and uh, Will over at What's Up in the Sky 37 did a cool video last night that uh, everybody should check out, and uh, you know, I'm going to just show you there's one piece that really... Uh, stands out to me and uh, I think it's incredible and I'm going to zoom up as close as I can into it. And uh, before I do that, I want to take you over to a video I did. You know, this is, you know, this is something for, you know, like the naysayers, uh, people that you may know that don't believe. I, this is like one of my top video, you know, finds. It's probably, you know, it's up there. I mean, this is to me, this is just a grave marker. Um, to me, that's a lot of what we're looking at, statues and grave markers. I believe that's why they're in that area. Um, you know, I believe there's other areas where there's uh, a lot more action and uh, on Mars. But uh, I think they picked this area for a reason. And this is one of the main anomalies in that video. I'm going to put it down in a link. Um, you know, it's called the smoking gun up, up close. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, I think it's a really great video. And uh, if you can, share it. You know, show it to some people. But, I mean, just look at that. I mean, there's no way that this, all these pieces, this face, yeah, I mean, look at the goatee coming down. You know, this triangle, uh, grave marker it looks like there's people carved into it and depicting a scene there's just no way you know I mean just one or two answers this is not a Mars or it is and this is this is the shit that they're covering up and uh, I'm sick of it I'm sure you are and I just need you guys to you know share stuff like this just to get it out there tell people um, all right, and let's uh, let's go take a look at that picture I want to show you. Okay, this is the picture. Um, as always, I'll put uh, I'll put the link down in uh, the description, and uh, I'm gonna put the link uh, for uh, the video that Will did, and I'm gonna also gonna put the link of uh, that video of mine that I just showed you with the grave marker. All right. Uh, the piece that I just want to show you in this is right up here, and uh, let's take a let's take a closer look. piece and you can see it's a triangle buried and then there's another looks like a piece carved into the center of it I mean to me stuff like that is just amazing I mean, it just it just gets me excited inverted. I mean, this object is there. It's real. No ifs, ands, or buts about that one. I mean, there's objects all over the top bridge of this. I mean, obviously, this place was blown to, blown to hell. I mean, you could see the artifacts and whatever hit this planet hit it hard. believe there's a lot of grave markers and stuff because the people of Mars that survived I part of me believes they're underground for whatever reason I mean the object that hit Mars maybe blew a lot of its atmosphere off I mean I don't know I mean I've looked at Mars through my telescope and through a buddy of mine's 
and uh, I'll tell you most of the time it doesn't look uh, red at all I mean it's actually got a pretty cool color to it and uh, you know I've watched a lot of videos and images of people you know home astronomer home astronomers that have looked at it and uh, I don't know it just doesn't look red it looks like it's got a nice atmosphere so I mean just more of the BS that we're you know being fed by more you know by NASA the government about Mars you know they're scared they're hiding you know whatever they found up there you know I mean there's objects up there to me that look golden imagine if there was just gold all over the place I mean and technology I mean it's or you know, if it's a planet that's really habitable, habitable, you know, where we could, you know, God forbid if something happened here, hey, we got an exit plan, you know, the elite are out of here. They got a place to go. I mean, you got to think, if there was a massive, you know, asteroid or body coming to hit Earth, I mean, do you really think our government's going to tell you? You know, I mean, all of a sudden, <laughs> the elite are going to be gone. You know, and we're going to be left here to fend for ourselves. I mean, look what happens with, like, simple floods and simple disasters. I mean, with FEMA and stuff, you can't even, uh, you can't even get help for days. So, imagine the chaos. I mean, you're not going to see on your local news that there's an asteroid, you know, an asteroid coming the size of, uh, you know, a stadium. I mean, you know the chaos? I mean, look what happens when they announce a little snowstorm's coming. So there could be many reasons why they hide a lot of these objects. You know, it's just, on our part, it's speculation. But there's one thing that we all know for sure, is that they're hiding a lot from us. And, uh, you know, there's not much we could do about it except put these videos out and have people, you know, our subscribers share this stuff. That's, that's all we can do right now. Alright guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Truth Seekers out.